Hello and welcome to an I'm Playing video. As you can see, I've got my new I'm Playing hat on, but it's not the only thing that's new. I've got myself an Apple Watch, and in this video, I'm gonna be telling you a little bit about what it's like to game on it. So this isn't my first smartwatch. I had a Pebble Steel beforehand, and I tried to do a bit of a game on it. I had another video I posted about playing a game on the Pebble Steel, and I found it, it just didn't quite work. It, it, gotches, especially the Pebble, aren't ready for game on yet. But what's different about the Apple Watch? Well, first of all, it's got a beautiful retina screen. So actually, what's on the screen looks really, really nice. It's got the full colors, um, it's clear, it's not pixelated. So firstly, it just looks really nice. Um, secondly, the touch works great. The controls are really good. So you know what you're trying to do, it actually responds really well. Unlike the Pebble, where you had to do the, the up, down with the buttons and it, it kind of controlled really, really rough. Um, this actually works well and does what you want it to do. So I've been playing a few games on the watch. Um, two that you kind of can play and leave alone. I've got Spy Watch and Rune Blade. Um, Spy Watch treats you like a spy master. You get notifications on your wrist about missions. So for example, your spy will be going out in the field, you send him off on various different missions, and at the time you'll get a little buzz, look at the wrist, and it'll say, hey, I'm in a situation, I've got, I've got guards ahead of me, what do I do? You've got two options. You can either sort of take them out or, or sneak behind and, and uh, you know, sneak away and avoid the, the conflict. You can go on training missions to improve different uh, you know, aspects of that spy, but basically you just get to control what he does, and it might control and give you certain benefits for, for using certain uh, ways to handle objectives. And this works really, really, really well. Um, it's not always on, you know, you, you get your buzz, you look at your watch, it's great. It's almost like a choose your own adventure quite styly. Um, and similar, Rune Blade uh, is about you just literally fighting monsters, getting treasure to sort of uh, kill a certain amount of monsters to get the next level to move up in the map. Um, it, both of these games don't require you to be on, looking at the wrist the whole time, but they kind of work in, in an interesting way, um, and, and you know they, they work quite well. I quite like the fact that you just have to don't have to look at it all the time. You can just pick up and game when you want to game. One game that does require you to look at it the whole time is a game called Four Letters that I've been playing. Now Four Letters um, actually works quite well. It's got a really really simple, clean user face, user user um, you know user interface. Um, a simple game where you basically just have to. You've got four letters on the screen, you have to make a word of those four letters. Um, the more letters you do, the, the higher score you get. You've got a timer, so you are timed and you've got to do it quickly. Again, works really well, really clean, really easy to use. Um, and it's just it's quite nice and fun to play, you know, if you're in the elevator or something like that. But it's not all good news for the Apple Watch, and especially gaming on the Apple Watch. Um, you know, these games are very limited. You're not going to enjoy the same sort of freedom or the same sort of features that you do on a phone game or a tablet game or a PC game or a console game. Of course, it's really, really small technology. You've got a tiny screen to work with. Um, you're just not going to get that. These, ga these games serve to be, you know, quick, get in there, have a little play in the elevator while you're waiting for someone. They're not going to be long experiences. And actually, the worst thing about the Apple Watch, and one reason I think gaming is really not going to take off, dedicated gaming on this, it's just the angle you have to hold it at. Holding it at this angle and doing all this, eventually just, it feels awkward, your wrist gets tired, my wrist shouldn't be in this position all the time while I'm gaming. And even when I'm standing here now, I want to put my wrist down and move it away. What I tend to do sometimes is rest it like this on, on, the, um, on the desk or something so I can sort of tap away, but holding my hand up to play games isn't necessarily a good experience. That's why it's so suited to games that are going to be quick, look, tap away, put your hand down, or really, really small bursts of it. But overall, what do I think of the games on the watch? Well, in general, quite pleased with it. You know, these games are not going to take over anything else. They're not going to suddenly stop you playing games on the phone or, or anything other, you know, that you play on. They are very dedicated to the watch. What I do is they offer just a new reason for me to play with a watch. I like looking down, tapping. I feel like a spy master when I'm playing spy watch. I like playing four letters. Uh, you know, it's interesting when I'm in the elevator. Um, an area I think they are good for is companion apps. So I've got a game on my iPhone. You know, these just help me develop. And if you know, there's some sort of software which allows me to link this up with anything going on on my, you know, my TV or my computer. Then the more the merrier. I think it's a great second screen device. Um, I think games have a long way to come on, on wearables, such as the watch, uh, but really the biggest thing is the fact you've got to hold it, hold it like this, and until something changes to fix that, I really don't see how gaming is going to take off too much on the watch. That said, we're going to keep you updated, uh, and anything else that comes out on the Apple Watch in, in terms of gaming, we're going to hopefully uh, do more reviews and videos um, just like this one. So thanks guys for watching our review of the Apple Watch. I appreciate you sitting there watching this with my silly hat on. It's not a silly hat, it's a cool hat. Um, if you liked what you see, check out our other videos on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to make sure that you see all the great content that comes from us, including Let's Plays, reviews, uh, and nonsense as well. I'm sure there's a lot of nonsense to come. Check out I'm Playing on the 
uh, little graphic below there. Check out the Wrestler website where you get lots of new content. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.